What we're going to talk about today is facial rejuvenation. Now, facial rejuvenation can involve improving the quantity of skin aspect of your face, meaning you know, tightening it, pulling it, or it, it can involve improving the quality of the skin, which is through resurfacing or fillers or that sort of thing. So the, the whole field of facial rejuvenation is actually a multi-part field. There's a lot to it, and the public should make sure that they go to someone that can offer them the full line of both surgical and non-surgical rejuvenation treatments in order to get the best possible result. Along the lines of surgical procedures, well, there are facelifts, there are brow lifts, and then there are upper and lower eyelid surgery or eyelid tucks. Now, a lot has been made about mini facelifts and uh, the lifestyle lift. And in my experience, anything that is mini usually offers a mini result. Uh, if you look critically at a lot of the marketing for mini procedures, uh, there's fine print at the bottom telling you that, well, that actual patient actually had more than just that one procedure. And so you, you really need to, to look critically at all that. I mean, anybody saying that they have come up with a new facelift is, is blowing a lot of smoke because facelifting has been around for over a hundred years. I guarantee you there is nothing new under the sun when it comes to pulling skin and tightening skin in the face. Uh, so there, there's no more revolutionary discoveries to be made out there. It's all marketing. So go to someone reputable, look at before and after pictures, ask how long the, the timeline is between the before and after pictures. I've seen before and after pictures of patients who have undergone those so-called mini procedures and within three months, six months after the procedure, you can't tell the difference between the before and after picture. You know, and yet they, they shelled out five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars. So, you know, once again, really, really educate yourself. When it comes to non-surgical facial rejuvenation, there's either resurfacing, which can be done via a variety of, of means. You can do it mechanically, as in dermabrasion. You can do it uh, chemically, as in chemical peels, or you can do it with lasers, which is resurfacing. There are more than one way to rejuvenate the skin, and once again, each has their pros and their cons. So, educate yourself. Look at uh, that there are, no, there are no shortcuts when you're surgically, uh, excuse me, non-surgically rejuvenating a face. Resurfacing, the one principle of it is the deeper you go with resurfacing, the greater the result, but also the greater the downtime and potentially the greater risk of complications. So, you know, look at what you're hoping to accomplish and then find the right procedure to meet your goals. That's, those are the questions you have to ask your provider.